Okay, welcome back to Heroes 3 as we continue on our playthrough of the map Darwin's Prize. Just to quickly recap, the first part did not go entirely to plan. Um, and for those of you who aren't aware, on Impossible Difficulty, the AI is actually able to get 50% more income from the same sources that you do. So for example, if you have a capital, you're going to get 4,000 gold per turn. Um, the AI in that situation will get 6,000 gold instead. And as it turns out, and I didn't really anticipate this at the start of the previous episode, but I've, I've kind of come to understand it now, um, that's really bad for us because this map is really full of external dwellings. Um, and that's... I thought that would be a good thing because, of course, extra creatures, and you can kind of focus on whichever creatures you like, but... Really, it just means that I now can't afford to recruit most of the units I want to recruit, whereas the AIs are both successfully recruiting pretty much everything they want. And we've completely fallen behind, we've lost most of our forces, and we're going to have to kind of mount a bit of a comeback. Another mistake I made was playing very defensively, because, of course, I could just sit back and try and recruit as many units as possible, but ultimately they're always going to be expanding the gap, because I just can't keep up with their spending. So, basically, what we need to do now is we need to find some way to spend gold to such an efficient extent that for every 1,500 gold the AI players spend, um, we only spend a thousand and yet we still catch up with them in terms of power. Some of you probably know what I'm hinting at, but I am of course hinting at Mighty Gorgons. 600 gold each, really solid, um, they're particularly good against tier 7 units, and of course these guys are just kind of splashing out on Titans. Um, I think red in particular is getting a lot of dragons. They're pretty close to each other, I think. So there's the uh, orange main hero, Daramith, just there next to the dragon cave. And I think it's been a couple of weeks. I'm sure I did check this. Uh, the other red hero is definitely nearby. We just have a quick look. I think possibly this one just here. I do need to check this, actually. So next turn, I'm going to send Steig in that direction. Um, but I think there's a chance that is Red's main just there. So there's a, a small chance that these two will come together and hopefully wipe each other out. But I'm not going to rely on that. The main thing I'm going to do is just try and build up as many Mighty Gorgons as possible. Um, try and make up for the fact that we can't afford most of the creatures coming from our external dwellings. And we're going to push to the north. We're going to try and hug to the kind of west side of the map as much as possible. If we can go to the Dragon Utopia, I'd definitely like to do that. Um, and then we'll keep pushing to the north. There is actually a gold mine there. It's very hard to see, but if you right-click it, you can see it is there. That's also going to help us with our gold situation. And um, hopefully we can take this town if Red's not going to come back and defend it, but we're going to have to see how it goes. So first thing to do, I think, is to bring Bronn back to the base. First, let's go to Alkin. Let's bring these forces together. So we're going to take the Hydras. We're going to take... Let's take everything except for these. And we're going to park Bron in the town. That gets him a bit of extra defense. Uh, we're going to send Alkin down to this. And we'll grab this. And we'll start moving back towards the town. So there's nothing really to do for a few turns now. We just have to kind of save up. Probably never going to actually hire these basilisks, which is kind of unfortunate for Bron. But it's just what we have to do. So let's see what happens with red and orange. Let's see if they come together. Let's see if they do fight. So I, I think that is the main. We'll soon find out. I still have a couple of dwellings up on the northeast of the map somehow. Um, I've got the dwarven uh, dwarf cottage. 32 dwarves there and seven fly hive uh, with 24 seven flies, which is the one that's still benefiting me just about. So Daramith is going towards the cove town. Um, and yeah, it is Damakin. Damakin's coming up. Lots of Haspids, not lots of Haspids, but several Haspids, several Red Dragons, and a few Black Dragons. So the main thing we need to do is just get Steig to safety. We're going to do some scouting too, try and find out the last part of the map. And then returning to base, we're going to buy as many of these as possible. Probably just going to park Bron in the town, or in fact, we should be safe from this. I could go buy these Gorgons. It feels really bad to relegate Bron to just picking things up, but there's not really too much else we can do right now, so perhaps we could do it with 
Alkin instead. Let's hand all of these units over. Let's take a few of these back. And then Alkin's gonna go in this direction. It's a new week, so I could go back and get some more gnolls, but they're not really gonna matter too much, so let's go in this direction. Let's go back to base. Let's deposit everything except the Serpent Flies. And we're just gonna have to give it a few turns, so let's end the turn there. I think Red has the Grail. I'm not entirely sure, but I, th I think they do. And Orange, so far unsuccessful, so far unproductive, and I'm not convinced they are actually going to fight each other, but as long as they don't come in my direction, that's probably okay. Okay, so there's actually Josephine as well. Uh, yeah, a pack of Titans, that's exactly what I mean. Pack of Titans and a lot of other dangerous stuff too, so this is all... A little bit scary, we're clearly well behind in terms of our units. Uh, to upgrade these we need 6,500 gold and 5 sulfur, so we can afford the sulfur. I do want to upgrade these, but for the most part I just want to keep spending uh, on Gorgons. Let's go to this, let's go for this, and let's go up to this. And then yeah, unfortunately I just don't think there's much we can do, so we just have to keep turtling. Keep buying mighty Gorgons, and just wait for the right moment. Okay, so Josephine's on the move. Orange is about to take the town back, or in fact does. Yeah, so Red just has the one town now. I'm hoping they're going to stay aggressive. Going to buy some more of these. Going to end the turn there. Should have actually bought the basic Gorgons instead, but never mind. Go back to this. Yeah, like I said, probably not going to use the Gnolls, but still. Uh, so this has not been left undefended, so I can't really go and sneak in and grab that, that's not going to work. Josephine could probably chase me down if I land. It's still kind of tempting just to scout, but the best thing I can do I think is just hog the coast. Um, there's clearly no escape for Steig, so that's pretty much the only option. Okay, let's end the turn. So Red has lots of heroes, but I think just one or two are actually good. As long as Damakin doesn't come near, we should be fine. Okay, back to base. Once again, we're going to look at these. We're going to upgrade these first. So that takes us up to 54 Gorgons. Then we're going to go across to Alkin. We're going to pick these up, and we're going to bring these back to the base. It's probably going to be week three that we move out. Just got to bide our time. I used to love turtling, I know it's like the classic noob thing to do, but that's exactly what I used to love doing. Um, just stay in my base, get a massive army. Doesn't usually work on impossible difficulty, but in this case, I stand by it. I think it's the thing to do. Um, 600 gold per mighty Gorgon. It's got to be worth it. Okay, so that's kind of concerning. There's someone moving towards the Dragon Utopia. I did want to take that first. I didn't even realize someone had boarded this, so Josephine... Josephine's actually got in a ship, um, kind of wasted her time, although she's... And though she split the Titans, she's still got all the Titans, so 12 Titans in total there. Um, we don't have any damaging spells. We could retreat. Doesn't really matter either way, but let's just do it. Okay, so Orange is going fully to the east of the map, and Red is going towards the Dragon Utopia with Dace, and I think... Unfortunately, that probably is going to be enough. But yeah, Dace I can probably take on. It's Damakun that I have to worry about, and I've kind of lost touch with him. He's moving towards the Fortress base. He's definitely going to take that off Gurnison, so that's some good news at least. They will take each other out on that side of the map. Um, but so far, the mains are not coming together. Okay, so we're going to give it one more turn. We're going to... upgrade our Hydras. Is there a better way to do this? We could do a chain. If there's no one nearby. Yeah, I feel like that could work. Let's go in this direction. So something I also forgot to do in the previous episode was to go to the Garden of Revelation. Uh, so we are going to do that. And then as long as we're relatively safe, we should be fine just to park here for now. We're going to send Alkin into the town. 
He's fine with just the dragonflies. So he's got basic logistics and Bron has expert logistics. So might need to bring Bron slightly back. But yeah, for now, let's just end the turn. Let's see what Dace does. Pretty sure he's going to take the Utopia as yeah, looks like he did go for it. Okay, so no sign of Daramith going to Damakin, but could still happen at some point. It's the last day of the week, so we could give it one more turn just to pick up a few more units, but... Yeah, actually, I think that does make sense. So we give it one more turn, and then we finally go for the attack. Uh, let's bring Bronn a little bit further back, or in fact, I could bring Verdish down just to kind of be a go-between. Yeah, let's do that. It's probably a bit too late to pull it off now, but let's just do it. I know it's so passive, but if you if you pay attention to what these guys are doing, they're kind of just going back and forth. I don't think they're really getting that much stronger, at least not faster than us. Uh, these Gorgons do make such a massive difference. Still not bought all of them, so could chain a few back. I'm not sure if that's worth doing. I really do just want to make a strong push. What I could do is, because Damakin's all the way up here, the chances that he can get back and foil us are pretty slim. Uh, whereas we can go straight for Risso's. Yeah, the Dragon Utopia has been cleared out. We can go straight towards this base. Hopefully take Dace out on the way. Yeah, so he's now up to 10 to 19 Black Dragons. In a way, I'd rather take him on now. Because if he came together with Damakun, that would be an issue. I think we could just about manage that. We would take some heavy losses. The other issue, of course, is we've started as Fortress, which means we just don't have the option of um, getting good spells. And in particular, the lack of haste is really bad for us. So we've got expert air magic, but no real good way to use it. Okay. So, last thing we could do is we could do some trading. There's no trading post, and I don't think we're going to get a good enough deal for this to be really worthwhile, but... At the same time, we just need four more Gorgons. That's got to be doable. Try this. Okay, so these are our forces. They're not great. But I think we can take on Dace. Okay, so we're going to send Verdish back to the base. Going to upgrade these. Then we'll spread them out. And then Bronn is going to just go and push straight to the north. We're going to split the one stack off of these. So the Black Dragons are currently towards the bottom. We can go pretty far. I think there's a chance that he just comes to attack us because the AI is not typically good at understanding how good Mighty Gorgons are. Uh, if we can stop off and get some kind of stat boost that'd be great, but doesn't look possible, so... Probably just have to push in this direction. Our spell points are 42 out of 50, so going to the Magic Well is not really worth it. Uh, if we can get to the Rally Flag that'd be good. I think I do just want to go fully in that direction. And then it's going to be pretty difficult to set up a chain, but we could have a go. Alright, let's end the turn, let's see what happens with Dace. Still no threat from Damakin for now. Um, I think that was Dace, just did nothing. I think I want to go after him, but... If I don't have to... The thing is, I don't want him to meet Damakin, but at the same time, if he does meet Damakin, they might just... Come to fight Daramith. Wow, Daramith is actually really close to Damakin at this point. So if they take each other out, then Dace is probably going to be the strongest hero on the map. And um, there's also Josephine, of course, but Josephine is off on the water somewhere, or at least was. Let's actually check that again. Yeah, Josephine. No, that's Solma. Kind of lost track of Josephine, I think. Okay, so yeah, Josephine is near the Cove Town. Must have given her units to Daramith. Yeah, Daramith's getting stronger. Okay. 
I think we go for this. We know he's got good artifacts. We know he's taken them. Mighty Gorgons in the middle does make sense. Let's put the... Lizard Warriors at the top. Actually, we probably want them at the bottom so we can rush across and block the evil eyes. I'm going to go for this. Yeah, so we are expected to win. Most of our Gorgons should survive. The main thing I want to get is if I can somehow get my hands on the haste, that'd be perfect. Uh, he's got bad luck. Does do some damage to our mighty Gorgons, but not too much. So I can use these to absorb the retail. That is partly what they're there for. Check our spell situation. Yeah, so not too many great options. I think maybe Bless on the Cows. Yeah, none of this stuff really jumps out at me. If I go for Bless, that's probably the best option. It's going to help the Mighty Gorgons a bit. Help the Chaos Hydras too. It's going to last for 5 turns. 47 of these. That would be good to block off. It all kind of depends. If these guys are capable of finishing these off in one turn, which I think they probably are, then we don't need to really absorb the retail. So let's go forward. Then we're going to wait with these. Those guys come forward and attack those. That's fine. Those guys come forward too. Uh, okay, so the Harpy Hags could actually reach us from there. I'm kind of surprised by that. Okay, so if we go for this, we're going to get a maximum of one kill. That's not as many as I hoped. Need to stay out of range of these. I'm going to stay here for now. Okay, so two kills from these. If we go for Bless, we still only get two kills, but... Should get six or so kills as bonus. So they should be down to just two Black Dragons after this. Actually get seven. That's even better. Okay, so we wait with these. These are not quite strong enough to finish them off. Probably going to send these forward as bait. I don't want to put them in range of the Hags, but otherwise... Might as well just go forward. And these guys are free to attack. I think we just have to defend. Yeah, no point going for that. Okay, so this is the final turn of round one, so we should actually be able to go forward and block off the evil eyes. Uh, we still have to deal with the Harpy Hags if that happens. I could go and attack the Harpy Hags, but... don't know if that's really in my interest. It might be better just to stand my ground. Probably go for the Medusa Queens. Uh, Black Dragons will go first, but I think that's fine. They can't really do too much to us. Goes for those, that's completely fine. Okay, so let's see. 80 points of damage from the Magic Arrow, that's not too much. I think we go for the Scorp cause next. Shield doesn't really help us too much. So we want to weaken one of these stacks. I think Disrupting Ray at Expert level could be pretty decent. Minus 5 defense on something, so maybe minus 5 defense on the Minotaur Kings could be good. I think I will go for that. Problem is, they do get to move before the Hydras. Um, the best thing to do with the Hydras, of course, is just to stick them in the middle. Probably not going to be possible. Probably wouldn't work. Let's just move here for now, as those actually go back. Okay, that's not too great. Um, there's not too much I can do with my Mighty Gorgons in this situation. I can maybe take these out. If I go for the Bless on these, I can finish off the Black Dragons. I can send the Mighty Gorgons down. They've got six speeds. So that's going to be one, two, three. Yeah, they can definitely reach the Minotaur Kings. Not really the best use of them. Still, I think I have to do it. Oh, it actually goes for blind on those. That's really not good. I'm just going to go for these anyway. Okay, so I lose the turn on my Chaos Hydras. These guys are getting attacked heavily too. They all actually just completely go down. I need to wake up the Gorgons. I'm going to go for Cure. And I think we go for these. Or in fact, let's go for these. These guys wake up, we're going to go straight for these. Finish them off. 
Goes for Lightning Bolt, does pretty much no damage, and that's his final spell cast. Go for these next. Then I'm gonna wait with these. We're gonna cure these. And we can finish these off in one go. Then these guys can go up and block. I think he's gonna flee. But we have to do it. I won't go for the attack. I changed my mind. Okay, so he flees. We've taken out a lot of forces, but we've also taken pretty heavy losses. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, let's get our spell points back. We don't get to steal his artifacts, and he's probably going to go back to this base, but... The good news is, we should be able to get to his base before he can come back and defend it, and in the meantime... Uh, there's a chance the two main opposing heroes are going to take each other out. And yeah, let's go straight for Muruk. Let's go for this first. And then let's go back to base. Not really sure which units to kind of focus on next, so these guys are okay in terms of value. Wyvern Monarchs are a bit too expensive. Ah, uh, these things are okay too. They're a bit too weak though in terms of combat strength. Um, we don't have a good enough source of sulfur to really invest in Chaos Hydras. So it might just have to be Basilisks next. The only other thing is because we're attacking a town we do want to be able to get over the walls, but... Yeah, I don't think Wyverns are worth it. Let's get some more Dragonflies. And let's end the turn. Okay, so let's see if Dace comes back. There's a small chance he comes back to the fortress town, but no, he does come back to his main town, never mind. Okay, let's see if these guys come together. Looks like it might actually happen. Although I don't think that's Daramith. No, it is. Okay, Daramith and Damakin are going to fight each other. That is the best possible outcome. We've taken out the next best hero on the map. Uh, let's go back to this base first. Buy a bunch more of these. And then let's send Verdish in this direction. Not sure if we're actually going to catch up here, but it's worth a go. Let's go to this, and let's go straight to the west. Yeah, this is definitely the fastest way to go, or in fact, it's saying I should go up through the middle. I do want to stop off and take the Dragon Cave, for sure. And I think I do have time to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave the gold mine to be picked up by Alkin, and we're just going to end the turn there. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure they have to attack each other at this point. Looks like Orange is expected to be the victor. Takes the town and then doesn't take on Damakin. That's really unfortunate. Could have easily beaten Damakin too. Definitely should have gone for that. Okay, so we'll go back to Alkin, we'll go to this. Uh, we still can't reach, but we can go towards the gold mine, so that's fine. Uh, Bron is going to be fine either way, so let's just keep pushing. Let's go for this. So these guys can cross. I'm not really sure what's going on with the... the unit queue. That doesn't seem correct. I think we just wait. They go forward. They do actually get a kill on the Gorgons. Okay, so that wasn't worth it, but never mind. Alright, there's some Medusa Queens in there. That's completely fine. Let's go for this as well. Why not? I think the Mighty Gorgons are a little bit faster. It's not the best way to do this. 
and that is exactly why. Yeah, so these guys are stuck. That's so annoying. Ah, I didn't want to think about this too much. Let's go for this again. Can six of these get a kill? I think probably not. But let's do this. Just to be safe, let's go for this. Perfect. Okay, so we've taken that, we can go for this next, and I don't think we can reach next turn, but there's not going to be a new week. Um, Dace has moved away in that direction. Not looking like a big threat at this point. Uh, I'm going to leave Verdish where she is, or in fact, let's go for this. Pick up these, and let's move back. Then in the base we have the option of recruiting Broghild to join our chain, that could be a good option. But let's save our gold for now. As Dace is moving off in that direction, that's perfect. Okay, so here we go, she does go for it this time. Ah, uh, so that's gotta be... That's gotta be Damakin out of the game. And she's taken almost no losses, so... Red's pretty much done, so it's really just us versus orange now. Let's go for this first. First let's go over to this guy, I'm pretty sure we can't reach. Yeah, not quite. Okay, I'm still gonna go in this direction, we really need the gold. Okay, literally just one defender, that's completely fine. Let's keep going in this direction, so yeah, can't quite reach that. Um, there are now black dragons in there. We've got 39 spell points. Can't really do too much with that. I'm really hoping we get haste from this town. I could have taken a dragon. Although actually there's none available. Okay. Let's go for this. And... I think we will go for the Fountain of Fortune and just take the town next turn. Uh, going back to our fortress base. Tempted to start going for Basilisks, we can definitely afford a bit of a power stack, and they're reasonably cheap. I think we do go for the upgraded version, even though they are a bit more expensive. But yeah, trying to save gold definitely is an important thing to do. Still, for now I think we stay put, and uh, no one's coming to attack us. Yeah, let's try and save our gold. If Dace does come for us, that's fine, we can completely handle him. If Daramith comes for us, then we're in trouble, but she's on literally the opposite side of the map and making very little progress. Okay, so this one should be fine. There might be two or three black dragons to worry about. Um, if they stay in the base, that's going to be a problem. But we do have Earthquake. Just got to go for it. Okay, 17 losses, actually 4 black dragons. I prefer to lose fewer than that, let's see what happens. So the towers do go for the dragonflies, the black dragons are potentially not going to come out. I will try and bait them. I think we just go straight for Earthquake. It's not going to do much, but... Alternatively, if we kill these off... I think that should spur the AI to come out. These guys can already reach us. I wouldn't mind putting myself somewhere the Minotaurs can reach me as well, but... No, let's stay put. Okay, so we're forced to move forward. These guys don't have to worry about retail. I think I just have to go for it. Try and bring them in. Okay, she's actually going to stay put, that's not good. Got to start going for Earthquake, we've only got the one. Okay, they're really going to do this. That's open. Do we just go for it? I think we do. Not really too many ways to actually really protect the Gorgons. No stone skin. I think we just start weakening these. 
Okay, I'm always confused by these ones. One of these two is the wrong one. One is correct. I think this one is correct. It doesn't tell me through this. Yeah, I'm so confused by this. I need to, like, properly squint at the screen. Yeah, this is an aspect of the game I find really horrible. I literally... I don't know which one of these two is okay. They might both be okay. I'm leaning towards the top one, but if my Gorgons get trapped in the moat, that's a bit of a problem. Um, the other thing I could do is I could send my Chaos Hydras up. I think we definitely wait first. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, we're just going to go for it. These guys can actually get in, so that's great. Uh, so there's five Harpy Hags there. I think we want to go for the Minotaurs instead. Or could go for these two stacks. No, five to eight kills on these. These are definitely one of the bigger threats. Let's do it. Okay, so the Gorgons are forced to stay in the moat, but that's not so bad because we should be able to finish off the Black Dragons uh, pretty much straight away. And we just need to go for Magic Arrow on one of these. And the Infernal Trogs will go down very quickly. These guys are pretty weak, and Black Dragons should go down to the Gorgons. They're just one round to go. As Wow, okay, so yeah, they're actually in the wrong spot. And we're not able to attack. Unnecessary losses, but... We're pretty much taking red out of the game. Um, they do go for the attack. We do finish them off. So we've taken a lot of losses to our Gorgons, but it's got to be worth it in the end. Okay, so 44 Gorgons, definitely not enough to take on a pack of Titans. But we've taken this town. We've taken it just before the end of the week, and we're going to have a few extra Black Dragons coming in. So Black Dragon growth is going to be three per week. Can, of course, also go for the Portal of Summoning and the Mana Vortex. The most urgent thing right now has to be the Mana Vortex. That does enable us to leave straight away. Pick a Mage Guild too. No haste. But we do get Lightning Bolt, so that's pretty good. But yeah, it's uh, for the most part disappointing. I could try and go for level 4 Mage Guild, but got no Sulfur to spend. That's going to be a real problem too. I think we just go for this for now. Or let's go for this just to see what we get. Seven flies. Okay. Alright, so if Bron doesn't have his spell points, I don't think that's a massive problem. And pick up another hero. I don't really see the need. Okay, so could go after Dace, or could go back to the hometown just to pick up some more units. Mighty Gorgons we pretty much spent. So we're going to have to go fully into Greater Basilisks, I think. Uh, we have got a lot more income for having taken this. But yeah, we shouldn't stay put, we should keep moving. So, well, let's start going in this direction. And we're going to take this. I don't think we can take this. Nope. Okay, day six, so I could wait on this just to take a Black Dragon next turn, or a Red Dragon even, but... Actually, the Sulphur Dune is really important, so let's go for that. And then Verdish. I don't think there's too many other Sulphur Dunes on the map. Uh, let's check. I don't think the AI tends to buy a resource silo, but let's check. Actually, he has got a resource silo. Okay, so we're getting one Sulphur per day. Should go up to plus two. Yeah, let's save our gold for now. Yeah, it's pretty much the perfect outcome. Um... So Red has actually taken Orange's starting town. The only issue is that Damakun was not at full strength, so Daramith was able to finish him off uh, with almost no losses. So Alamar's going to go down for sure, Daramith is going to keep moving in this direction. Probably take the town back, and that's going to be the end of Red. That also kind of follows my plan, because I did want to attack Dace, and the idea was that he wouldn't be able to flee. Uh, but at this point, of course, he will be able to. Let's check this one out. Basic learning, let's skip that. Go for this. Okay, so is it worth chasing Dace down? I think it's still worth a go. Yeah, 
yeah, there's nothing too threatening there. Okay, so last day of the week, is there anything we can do that's going to benefit us from the start of next week? I don't think there is. No. I'm going to save my Mercury as well. I'm not going to go for the upgraded with Ness just in case we do decide to um, go for the Mage Guild level 4. And yeah. That's just them there. Okay, so Daramith, not messing around, is moving straight in that direction. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Lich is here actually unreachable. Uh, the AI would have cleared that out ages ago. Um, if it actually was reachable, I think the Golden Pavilion must therefore also be unreachable, just like the Homestead. So Daramith is going to go to the south, going to take the town back, finish off Malcolm. I don't think there's any time to wait, we do just want to go for this. Um, I could try and chain some units over from this town, and... That could work. We do have enough money. We've got Steig back. Let's do it. We can only afford two of them. Might be able to do something about that. Let's have a look. So yeah, 13. That's completely fine as a trade. I think we go for two. Pick up these. Then we just need one more sulfur, which is going to cost 13 of these. I think we can afford to do that. Let's just do it. Get a fourth black dragon. And I would like to pick these up, although I don't think I'm going to take them at this stage. The rest of this stuff is not too important, so let's leave it be for now. And yeah, let's send Steig in this direction. I'm not sure we got quite enough movement points to make this work, but let's have a look. Probably not. Almost. Okay, so here we go. Four black dragons. That is going to make this easier. Could go for this too. But no, we'll save our... Oh, didn't mean to click that. Okay, let's do it. We should get the first turn. A few losses expected, not too many. Does have tactics and actually just makes things easier for my dragons. Okay, so Lightning Bolt does 175 points of damage. That's still not too great. Really prefer haste. Maybe this? This risky. These guys can't reach us. These guys aren't going to do too much. Yeah, I think we're fine. They go for those. That's fine as long as we can clear these out, which it doesn't look like we quite can. Okay. So these guys go next. Gorgons finish these off. Might as well send these forward. These are five speed. These guys are seven. Yeah, let's go forward. Take these out. Those guys do actually reach us. I'm not sure what I worked out wrong there. Had they waited? For some reason I thought I'd waited with my Chaos Hydras before I moved them, so that was, uh... That was regrettable. Okay, so we lost a Chaos Hydra to that. That's... Did we lose a Chaos Hydra? No, we didn't lose a Chaos Hydra. Okay, so we shouldn't have moved forward, shouldn't have taken that damage. Um, yeah, so we take a lot of damage, but we've not lost one. The Manticores could do some damage to us, but we can attack them next. Uh, Red Dragons could also come after us. Don't think I'm worried about that. I think we just move in this direction. Let's finish this off. Next round begins. So we can go for the Red Dragons, we can go for the Manticores. Red Dragons... Could maybe finish off the Chaos Hydras, it's a bit of a risk. No spell points left. 
They could kind of both go for it. Um, I think if they go to attack the Chaos Hydras, we might take a loss, but they should put themselves in range of Gorgons. So let's actually check this too. So these guys actually have 81 health, so they're also pretty weak. So I think we're fine to go for this. Let me block these. Go for these next. They go for the double attack, which is perfect, although actually it does kill a dragon. Didn't think they quite managed that. Still, I kind of care more about protecting the Chaos Hydras. Maybe I shouldn't, but that's kind of how I feel. Chaos Hydra is still alive, these guys are forced to go forward. These are pretty healthy at this point. So let's go for these. Block these. And we're now stuck behind the Ballista. This could have been done better, but... Hmm. Two to three kills. So we should do about 180 damage. That should be enough to finish them off. Pretty much guaranteed. Although, the holders do get to go, so let's wait. They are going to stay put for now. See if we can tempt them to waste their turns. Kill the Ballista. We can go for this. This should, I think, kill. Pretty much guaranteed. Okay, in the grand scheme of things, I'm sure I could have protected the Black Dragons, I could have prevented a loss, but that seems okay. We didn't really get too much for that. Um, basic pathfinding, there's... Wow. This is very near useless, so pathfinding is literally useless on this map, and navigation is borderline useless. That's not the ideal outcome, and the actual artifacts we got for that were not great. Tome of Fire Magic is pretty good for Blind and Berserk. Fortunately, Titans are immune to both of those spells, so it doesn't really help us too much. This helps us get more Basilisks if we can afford them. Okay, none of that stuff is too great. Let's move in this direction. The main thing to do now is just to hold our position, try and get as much money as possible, and try and start building up our forces again. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's Daramith. I'm sure she must have already been to the Library of Enlightenment, but she goes back again. See if there's anyone else. So, Neela is pretty weak. Red's pretty much out. I think Alamar's probably the strongest one left. No, there's Malekith. Yeah, Malekith's pretty bad. So yeah, Red's pretty much out of the game. Um, is at least denying Orange their extra Titans, which is perfect. But we're not ready to take on Daramith for sure. Um, if we go fully into Black Dragons, then we do of course do 50% more damage on our first attack. So I think investing fully in Black Dragons is the obvious thing to do. Okay. So yeah, definitely want to hold back. We want to probably wait at least one more week, buy a few Black Dragons, try and restock on the Mighty Gorgons. We have a much better income at this point, so we're making 7,000 gold per turn. That's a pretty big step up. Yeah, so the thing to do is we need to go after Daramith, but first we have to actually build up as many forces as possible. It's definitely doable, but we have to time it exactly right. But yeah, I don't want this to be a two-part series. I don't see the point of a two-part series. It doesn't really... like, I can't justify making a playlist for a two-part series, so... We're going to wrap this up, and possibly next time we're going to finish off orange, not really sure. But yeah, this is going to be the end of part two. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.